Hello aspirants, before we move on with our video, let me share a great opportunity with you all, wherein you can get your doubts and queries related to civil services preparation answered directly by IRS officers on our panel, Mr. Pramod and Mr. Arun. Now Mr. Arun cleared the exam in Hindi medium with Hindi literature as the optional. So we would like you to use this opportunity, in fact this rare opportunity to improve your preparation. Do send in your queries through WhatsApp or email. The same will be answered in the upcoming sessions. Thank you. Hello everyone. Welcome to IS Help Desk. Today we have got a new video in our science and technology series. So we are going to study all about the Rafale fighter jets. Now I was wondering why this is important. This topic is important from the prelims perspective because in the previous year questions related to defense have been asked in the prelims examination. For example, in 2018, a question was related to terminal high altitude area defense. In 2016, a question was related to INS Ashtradharni. And in 2014, there is a question related to Agni 4 missile. So, in the science and technology part, the questions related to defense is very important. Okay. Now, since we know that this is an important topic, so let us just understand from the prelims perspective, what are the key features and only the relevant parts? So we all know that five Rafale fighters touched base on Ambala on 29th of July in Haryana after covering a journey of 7000 kilometers from France. But now the question arises why the fighter jets have been landed in Ambala air base only? That is very simple I think because we all know that uh, Ambala is a very strategic location for India and India can easily target Pakistan and China both in case of an eventuality of a war. In fact, previously also during Kargil war, Ambala was used as an air base. Can you tell me what is the squadron for Rafale jet? The Rafale jet will be added in the number 17 Golden Arrows squadron of the Indian Air Force. So it will take the Indian Air Force squadron strength to 31. But if in 2022, when all the 36 Rafale jets will be delivered, it will take the squadron to 32. Okay. But what is the total sanction strength for Indian Air Force? It is 42 and we are way behind it. And government is working to increase the strength of the squadrons. Okay. Now let us have a quick look at the history of fighter jets supplied by Dassault Aviation to India. Why do we think that Rafale is such important and what are its important features and why everyone is talking about Rafale nowadays? So firstly, before understanding the importance of Rafale, we should understand that what are the features of a good weapon. The first feature is versatility. That is, a good weapon should be able to perform different missions. Okay. Second is the interoperability. It means that it should be capable of performing operations in coalition with the allies third one is the flexibility which means it it is capable of performing different missions in one go or in the same sortie which we also call as the omni role capability 
and fourth one is the survivability which means ability to survive in a threat environment so now we will look at the characteristics of the rafale jet and we will understand how it has proved its metal in combat during afghanistan syria and iraq attacks so what are the characteristics of rafale jet rafale is a twin jet combat aircraft which has been manufactured by dassault aviation now you will need to understand the difference between a twin jet combat aircraft and a single jet aircraft now it is very easy to understand if you have a single jet it is very easy to maneuver which means agar aapke paas ek single jet hai to aap us flight ka wazan halka hoga aur is wajah is wajah se kya ho sakta hai ki wo flight aap easily direction change kar sakte hain magar iske sath nuksan ye hai ki single jet hone ke sath aapki capacity kafi kam hogi वेपन्स को कैरी करने की हालांकि रफेल के साथ एडवांटेज क्या है कि ये ट्विन जेट है और इसकी मनोवरेबिलिटी जो है वो कम है कंपेयर टू अ सिंगल जेट बट इट हैज गॉट अ वेरी गुड कैपेसिटी टू कैरी अ लॉट ऑफ वेपन्स इंक्लूडिंग न्यूक्लियर वेपन्स सो दैट इज वाई यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड डिफरेंस बिटवीन अ सिंगल जेट एंड अ डबल जेट द सेकेंड कैरेक्टरिस्टिक इज दैट इट इज अ फोर पॉइंट फाइव जनरेशन फाइटर जेट सो यू कैन सी दैट देर है मल्टीपल फाइटर जेट जनरेशन द फर्स्ट जनरेशन विच कवर्स फ्रॉम नाइनटीन फोर्टीज टू नाइनटीन फिफ्टीज एंड इट यूज टर्बो जेट्स फ्रॉ प्रोपल्शन सो दे वर लार्जर इन साइज एंड दे वर मोर हैवियर एंड द एग्जाम्पल्स आर मिग फिफ्टीन नाइनटीन फिफ्टीज टू नाइनटीन सिक्सटीज कवर सेकेंड जनरेशन फाइटर्स which integrated new technologies delta wing and guided missiles then after 1960s to 1970s third generation fighter jets were formed which included radars missiles and avionics and the examples were mirage 3 and mig 25 then in the 1970s to 1990s fourth generation fighter jets were incorporated which includes multi role capabilities and the example were mirage 2000 and mig 29 then comes the 4.5 generation fighters rafale is a form of 4.5 generation fighter and it includes more advanced avionics and electronics with some stealth so avionics and electronics allow the pilot to take a better decision by getting inputs from different data and having a stealth technology allows the fighter plan to remain undetected from the radar system there is a fifth generation fighter jets which which are capable of multi role or swing role but also incorporate advanced stealth technology and formed of composite materials so they are very light in nature so rafale can achieve a maximum speed of 1400 km per hour and with a full fuel tank and fully loaded combat weapons it can travel up to 3200 to 3700 km also rafale is available in both single and dual seating cabin so india has ordered 28 single and 8 dual seater rafales now what do we call as an omni role of rafale jet omni role means multiple roles which a jet perform at once so the omni role capacities of rafale jet include air defense reconnaissance close air support dynamic targeting air to ground precision strike anti ship attacks nuclear deterrence buddy buddy refueling means it can refuel itself in the air it does not need to land on the ground to refuel and it is the only european combat aircraft which uses an electronic scanning radar so now we will discuss what are the weapons of rafale jet so there are two categories of weapons first is air to air and second is air to ground now in air to air the first one is meteor which has a capacity to hit 120 to 150 km beyond the visual range and the second one is mica which can hit over 70 km from in air to ground the first one is a scalp which can hit over 300 km from air to ground and the second one is hammer which can hit 20 to 70 kilometers from air to ground you all must have heard about the j20 jet of china what is the difference between rafale and j20 jet of china both the jets are twin engine rafale has got an option of single and dual seat whereas j20 has got single seat 
Rafale is 4.5th generation whereas J20 is 5th generation. Rafale can lift load up to 1.5 times its weight which means it can carry weapons and fuels much more. However, J20 can carry less weapons and fuel. Rafale jet is an omni-role aircraft which means it can carry multiple missions in the same sortie whereas J20 cannot carry out multiple missions in one go. Rafale has got different weapons for, for air to air and air to ground which we already discussed in the last slide. Meteor, Mica and Scalp weapons. However, the J20 weapons are not so advanced because these weapons can go at a speed of 4 Mach whereas J20 uh, weapons are only designed for 2 to 2.5 Mach which means the missiles of Rafale jet are almost twice as fast as that of J20. Also Rafale has got an electronic warfare suit called a Spectra whereas there is no such feature in J20. So if you compare although J20 is a fifth generation aircraft still Rafale is much more capable in terms of attacking speed as well as the lethality of the weapons. So that's all from our side. If you have any questions you can send in a mail at info at the rate ishelpdesk.in or you can send a whatsapp message at 8586055783. Thanks for watching this video. Do let us know if you have any feedback or any comments in the comment sections below.